thought about being in music until like senior year in high school. And I, um, I had wanted to be an architect. And back then, you could openly discriminate against women. And so I went to an interview at Cornell, and the guy literally told me that they didn't accept women because they would just get married and drop out. You know, now they might have the same policy, but they would never say it to your face. And then I realized that he said, well, what do you do? You know, and I realized that I played music all the time. I thought, well, maybe I should go into music. And I started it in college, and I had a very bad teacher. And so um, I became a theater major. You do everything in theater, whether you're qualified or not. And so music was just something I started doing and writing music and sort of took it from there. first piece I dealt a lot with beating and what the way that I um, that note passing note uh, the way that I performed it was walking through the space walking between the speakers so that I was kind of manipulating the sound so I wasn't trying to get any specific uh, combination or difference tones I was just and bathing in the sound, kind of, you know, and then, you know, just really manipulate, because, you know, by how much, how loud it is, had the pressure that you use, moving in the space changes it drastically. So um, it wasn't until I wrote that, the piece for bass clarinet 4BC that I really started playing around with specific uh, sound phenomena, and I did that tediously. I would I recorded tones on tape and then I just kept overdubbing and you know combining them so like what do like four unison sound like what does it sound like when you add this note what does it sound like when you add that note and so I basically built up the piece that way Conventional Western notation is kind of like algebra, but the reality is it's more like calculus, where you have the variables and they're, they're constantly changing. So even though you think you know what it looks like, a lot of people only hear what they see on the page. And there's actually a lot going on that either people don't hear or you know, they're unaware of or, or whatever. But um, for people like me who write music the way I do, the scores look deceptively simple. And um, performers find out that it's like a lot more, di first of all, it's not as simple, it doesn't sound as simple as it looks, and it's not as easy to perform because you have to have spot on intonation. Um, I had a, uh, students at Manhattan School and Manus both perform my piece for four, uh, trombones or bass trombones and uh, I think they thought at first it was kind of like insulting to be playing all these whole notes uh, and then they found out it wasn't all that easy you know because you have to have a really good sense of rhythm you have to have a really good sense of pitch um, and it's it's kind of like an almost like an endurance thing you know it's very difficult 